we are going to start today with us. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share the generalities of the class. Hello, Glenda. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you today? Everything good? So far? Como esta? Something, it's okay? Okay, so, hello, hello, good evening. So we're going to start with the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So, welcome to the online English pro program. We are starting soon, right? So, Lucia, hello, Lucia. In your house, in the bus, working, where are you? <laughs> my house teacher in your house that's right okay that's really good so resting a little bit resting a little <laughs> okay so what do you remember about yesterday's class uh, lucia mm, i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> vocabulary or a sentence an expression Mm -hmm. Something you remember? <laughs> it's okay. You can check the notebook, right? You can check the notebook. Don't worry. You can take your time. Yesterday we studied the present perfect, right? So the agenda for today is from 7 to 7. And a greeting, welcome, and general instructions. Review about the last class, about yesterday's class, warm up, attendance, snapshot, conversation, grammar, focus, vocabulary, platform exercise. What have you done that is present perfect? Feedback, closing, and five minutes for advices. Now, a specific objective. Lucia, me ayuda a leer el especi uh, the, uh, the specific objective. Asking for and getting information, please. Ahorita, ahorita le ayudo. Yes, it's okay. Thank you. Tell me, please. Mm -hmm. General objective. Mm -hmm. Sí? Yes, yes. No, no, the specific. The specific one. The specific, specific. objective. The yes. Specific object, objective. Mm -hmm. Asking for and getting information about activities activities you have done, discuss, discuss, discuss. Factors, uh -huh. as activities, snapshots, and grammar focus. Mm -hmm. okay. Complete complete some grammar ex huh? exercises in the platform. And identify identify activity, identify identify uh, activities and familiar scen scenarios and practice model dialogues for creating personal conversation. Thank you. Dialogues, right? Dialogues, uh, similar dialogues. to uh, yeah, similar to conversation. Thank you so much. Okay, so here we go. What are we doing today? Uh, Glenda, can you help me and uh, read the black one, the black objective for today? Can you? Are you available to talk, Glenda? Oops. Can you talk? Oh, hello, Naomi. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Everything good? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good. Can you help me to read the first auditive, the black one, please? Yes. Participate will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about activities you have done. Excellent. Activities you have done, right? 
Okay, so the next one, participants will be able to talk using present perfect versus simple past, the contrast, right? Uh, practice and create a conversation based in a model dialogue, complete reading exercises or listening exercises. Repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercise in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned. Okay, so here we go, right? I'm going to share with you Hello, uh, Romel. How are you today, Romel? Everything good so far? ¿Cómo estamos, Romel? I can sure. I am okay. Everything good? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, that's nice. Very good. I need to share the manual. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Ah, but before the manual, I think we are going to uh, work with this this thing. Okay, so here we go. Give me a second. Now, can you see? Now, here you have some sentences. I am going to give you some time to look at the sentences and to check if you have a, uh, something that is not correct. Okay, can you, Roma, can you help me to read the instruction? One word, please. Mm -hmm. Teacher, se congeló la pantalla. Se congeló. No ve, no ve las oraciones. No se miran. No, 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 no. Ah, ok, give me a second, please. Ah, es que como le di varias veces, eh, como compartir, quizás por eso. Ok, here we go. Aquí está. Ok. ¿En now? Yes. Now? Ok. Now, so you have a, a one word. Can you help me to read, please, uh, Roman? <laughs> okay, teacher. One word in each sentence. Sentence is wrong. Click on the incorrect word. Yes. Now, uh, can you help me to read, uh, Miguel? Me ayuda a leer. Can you help me to read the number one, the first one? La pueden ver. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think people we going call it CD in the future? Yes. Do you think people will going collect CDs in the future, right? The number two, uh, can you help me, Lucia, to read the number two? No, most people going. Yes, no, most people going will hmm? don't download their music from the inter internet yes, or internet. Right. Internet, right? Internet. Also, you can pronounce as an internet, okay? Internet or internet. Very good. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, number three. Look up those clouds. Can you help me to read, uh, Glenda? No sé si me ayuda. Excellent. Very good. Uh, and work. Okay, Mario. It's, it's, only listen is okay, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Jessica Lisette, can you help me to read the number three? Please. Uh-huh. Look at those clouds. It is well going to rain. Yes, it is. It is will. It is will going to rain. Yeah. Recuerde, hay una palabra que está mala en la oración. Usted tiene que adivinar cuál es la palabra que está mala. Okay, it is going to rain. It is will going to rain, right? Or gonna rain, as you pronounce. Number four, uh, Miguel, me ayuda con la number four. Where do you think? Okay, uh, where do you think you will to lie in 10 zero? Live, uh huh. Will you, you will to live in 10 years? Number five, Lucia, me ayuda. Yes. Ay, teacher, se me. Permítame. Se me, <laughs> se me desconfiguro esto. Ponga alguien más y la siguiente la. Okay, la... so, Ruta Vigail. Can you help me with the number five, please? To read the number five. Okay. Are you, Are you will gonna take a vacation this summer? Vacation, vacation. <laughs> okay, summer, summer, right? La U como que se fuera summer. Vacation, summer, okay, number six. Manuel Alexander, can you help me to read the number six? Oh, Manuel. Yes, I'm going to buy visit my friends in Israel. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I'm going to be in visit I can't my friends. Sure. Now, see, and the number seven, please. 
Okay. What are you going to be be in, be, uh, teacher? I'm being. Being. Being hmm? be the when you leave school. Yes. School. Okay. Then the school. Yes, the school. Number eight. Uh, who can help me with the number eight? Uh, Glenda, are you available? Hey, Mario, just listen. Okay, it's okay. Noemi, can you help me with the number? Uh, the number eight, number nine. The number eight. I'm going to will study architecture. The number nine, Noemi. Please. Okay. Sally looks very sad. I I think she's going to to cry. It's going to be cry, okay? And the number 10, number 10. Can you help me, Miguel, the number 10? The number 10. Okay. Don't worry about your new job. I'm sure it's going will be fine. Thank you so much. Now, in the number one, what do you think is the error? What do you think is the mistake in the number one? What is the problem with that? Uh, so one word in each sentence is wrong. So you have to tell me what is the uh, incorrect word, right? So in the number one, so you have a one word that is incorrect. Can you tell me what the, the incorrect word is, please? What do you think is the... Okay, ¿qué es, la, ¿qué es lo incorrecto? Pueden equivocarse, no hay problema. Así aprendemos. People. People. Sure. People. Ah. Sure. Going, creo que dijo. Casi no le oigo, fíjese. Creo, creo que no le he dado volumen, creo. Okay. Yes, ajá. Tell me. In teacher. What? Solo es una palabra la que está mal. Hmm. Entonces, ¿cuál es tu para que people y you? En la número uno. ¿Cuál es el meaning de the collect? 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 Coleccionar. Ah, thank uh, you, Lucía. Perfect. I like it. You send the screenshot. That's nice. Very good. Okay. Going, teacher. Hmm? Going. Huh? Sí, okay, no people. Entonces no es people, es going. Okay, now the number two. Porque no vamos a estar ahí toda la hora. Okay, no, no. Most people going will download their music from the internet. What do you think is the incorrect word? You have going and you have will. Hmm? It's there. Huh? There? There. Is this one, there. It's there. Huh? Ah, it's there. there. Do you think that is the incorrect word? Para mí, we're going, we're going. Going. Yes. So going or will? What is the difference? Going. When do you use going to and when do you use will? What's the difference? Ayer se lo explicaba. <laughs> it's going and huh? it's going it's going mom okay so gone so number three look up those clouds so it's an evidence it's an evidence it's a fact it is will going to rain so will are going uh, will. Mm -hmm. okay where do you think you will to live in 10 years will or to live or to, or live, or will. Hmm? In 10 years. 10 years. In 10 years. In 10 years. When? Pero es la estructura. O sea, es la estructura la que... <laughs> two. Ajá, uh -huh, es two. Okay, excellent. Very good. Number five. Are you will going to take a vacation this summer? What do you think is the problem? This summer, right? Maybe can not happen, right? Maybe. Yes, tal vez no es seguro, verdad? Porque are you? Because it's a question, right? Recuerde, con going to 
or going, está seguro que va a pasar. Okay. Eh, look at the cloud. Mira, está, it's dark. It's gonna, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna rain. It's dark. So because you can see the, the dark clouds, right? Or for example, look at her. She's expecting a baby. She's expecting, she is going to have a baby because of the stomach, right? Now in the number five, is will or going to? Going to, seguro. Seguro. Is will. Why? Why is will? Why? Because? Because in equations, will is the first word. Okay, uh -huh, yes, it's true, okay. Now the number six. Yes, I am going to be in visiting my friends in New York. So going to be, what is the problem? Being. Being, verdad, being is the problem. Going to do when you leave school. Number eight, I am going to will study architecture. Uh, and the six, teacher? Ah, the six, ah, the six. What is the answer for the number six? Yes, I am going to, ah, being, me dijeron, verdad? Being. Being, and then number seven, being two. Uh, I am going to will study architecture. I am going to study architecture or I will study architecture. What is the problem? Will, will no. Okay, so say, Sally looks very sad. I think she's going to, she's going to be cry. She's going to cry me. or she's? Be. She's. No, be. be. Going be. to cry. Después del going to, va el verbo en face turn. And the last one, the number seven is going, right? Okay, can you help me to read the number seven, please? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer? ¿Alguien que no ha participado? Roberto Carlos, can you help me to read the number ten? Don't worry about your new book. I'm sure it's going will be fine. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so, uh -huh. uh, so let's check it out. Check answers. All of them are correct. Yes, right? All of them are correct. So that is the incorrect word. Very good. That's nice. Excellent. Perfect. Now the next one, look at this. Now in this grammar, you have a conversation. Uh, in the conversation, you have a tomorrow, that's, okay, can you help me to read the first sentence, Lucia? Tomorrow, that's why? Tomorrow, that's why I am going. Um, I'm going. What about the afternoon? Um, poor you. Poor, poor, oh, see, sí, poor, Marat, teacher. Poor you, oh, poor, poor you. Poor, mm -hmm. poor you. And in uh, the okay. Or, oh, oh, hasta ahí. Yes, as I am in the evening. Thank you. Glenda or Noemi, can you help me to read the next sentences? We have to put them in order in the correct sequence, right? And Seria, I'm gonna I'm going to the dentist. Uh -huh. Oh, I am gonna the dentist. Okay. The next, the next, por favor. Oh, oh, and the new bowling. Ali, bowling. Ali. Ali. Opening, I am going bowl. Excellent. I'm taking a math exam exam all afternoon. Miguel, me ayuda a leer la, the question. Can you read the question about this? Please, Miguel. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Okay. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Excellent. Very good. Nice, Miguel. What are you doing tomorrow morning? What is the second sentence, the second information? What are you doing tomorrow morning? What is the next? Mm -hmm. What do you think is the next? Puede equivocarse, no problem. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What, what's tomorrow? tomorrow? I'm taking oh, a... Just... Este. I'm taking when? a... What? what? Ah, tomorrow. That's why I'm going. No. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Oh, ¿Qué estás haciendo tomorrow. mañana en la mañana? Mañana... Eso es por lo que, por qué yo voy. No, doesn't match, right? No. I'm going to the dentist. Okay, I am going to the dentist. It, it could be. Next.
And what about the option? You have six more options, right? What about the afternoon? Sorry, what? What? What, what about, about the afternoon? Afternoon. Y el O for you, and in the evening, no. Eso quería saber que es you. No, ese? What about the afternoon? Now the next? <coughs> What is the next? Pueden equivocarse, no hay problema. I'm taking a math exam. Okay, the next. I'm taking an exam, a math exam all afternoon. Okay, the next. Oh, 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 for? Oh, for you. for you. Oh, for in you. the evening. And in the evening. Mm. Yo creo que hay una en la que nos equivocamos, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. ¿Qué estás haciendo mañana, mañana en la mañana? Yo voy al dentista. ¿Y, y qué estás haciendo mañana mañana en la mañana? Yo voy al dentista. ¿Y la tarde? Estoy tomando un examen de matemática toda la tarde. Oh, pobrecito. ¿En el in the evening? Oh, por you. I'm going bowling. Oh, when's the new bowling alley opening? Oh, me equivoqué, ¿verdad? Okay, I'm going bowling. Oh, when's the new bowling alley opening? Tomorrow, that's why I'm going. Okay, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Perfect, hey, congrats. That's nice, very good. So, uh, listen the pronunciation of the conversation. Uh, Lucia, please. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow morning? What are you doing tomorrow morning? I'm going to the dentist. I'm going to the dentist. What about the afternoon? What about, what about the afternoon? About I'm, afternoon. I'm taking a math exam all afternoon. I'm taking a math exam all afternoon. Oh, poor you. And in the evening, I'm going bowling. I'm going bowling. Oh, when's the new bowling alley opening? Tomorrow, that's why I'm going. That's why I'm going. Okay, question with vocabulary or pronunciation so far? What is the meaning of the um, bowling? Uh, galaxy bowling is a synonym for when you play a game with a ball and you put it uh, in, like, in your fingers like this and you throw the ball and all the pins, Fall down, galaxy bowling, uh, bowling alley, bowling alley is es the, como el lugar donde juegan bowling, verdad? Okay. So with the pronunciation, what about the afternoon? The new bowling, bowling. alley open. Bowling alley, alley, alley. Bowl, bowling, bow, bowling alley. Bowling. Ali. Ali, okay. Bowling Ali, Ali yes. Ali. Okay, do you have more questions about the pronunciation or with the meaning? Uh huh. Do you have preguntas con el vocabulario? Or significado? Or de la pronunciación? Okay, so uh, you're gonna practice the conversation. Okay, I'm gonna make just two groups because today you are, you are few. So in the, so you have the conversation in the WhatsApp group, right? And so I'm going to, uh, we are going to make two, 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 two groups, right? Vamos a ver, ¿cómo me quedan los, los grupos? Espérame, permíteme. Give me a second. I'm looking for uh, the breakup rooms. Okay, the breakup rooms, here we go. Now in the breakup rooms, we are going to make just three. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Lucia, Lucia se queda, no se vaya a ir. Aunque no sé si Alejandro y Jessica. Saúl, Alejandro y Jessica, are you available to talk? Or I move to another room. Saúl, Alejandro, are you there? Ah, ya se cambió, ya se cambió. Okay, so I'm gonna open room. Lucia, don't go to the, open, to the breakout rooms, stay here. And the same with Miguel, Miguel. 
Ángel Clemente se queda. Okay, the rest go to the breakup rooms. Practice the conversation that you have in WhatsApp. If in your breakup room, you can project it, project it, please. Okay, one se falta que se una Saúl Alejandro, Stephanie Beatriz, eh, Glenda, eh, Manuel Alexander, Romel. You have to move. You have to move to the room, to the breakup room for practicing the conversation that you have. Excellent, very good. Solo me falta en el breakup room, en el room number one. So, está, ahí, ahí está, vale. Ahí está, ya están en parejas. Es que yo... Okay, now, uh, Lucía, can you practice? Uh, you are going to be Gina and uh, Miguel is going to be Carlos. Can you practice, please? Okay. okay. What are you doing tomorrow morning? I'm going to the dentist. What about the afternoon? And Taking um a math math exam exam, exam all afternoon mm -hmm. exam 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 exam, exam all afternoon. What about uh -huh. for you in, in the evening? Mm -hmm. I going bowling. Mm. Oh, when's the new Polling earlier opening. Tomorrow, that's why I am going. Uh, Ali, right, Ali. What about, what about the afternoon? What about the afternoon, okay? Now, Glenda, can you practice with your classmate? Are you available to practice, Glenda? Teacher. Hi. En, en esta donde se lee que va la, la M y la A seguido, donde dice ex, exam. Exam all, no se, no se une, no. All afternoon. Exam all afternoon. Sí, a, a la decir todas se une. Exam all afternoon. Se exam pronunciaría all afternoon. la M se une con la A, la Hola. L con la, con la A. Exam Ajá, all afternoon le quedaría. Exam all afternoon. Exam all, exam all afternoon. afternoon. Ok. Now, eh, eh, Glenda is not available. Eh, soy yo gonna be Carlos, Lucía. Y Miguel is gonna be Gina. Miguel, Gina. And Lucia Carlos. So you're gonna switch. Okay. Hmm. What are you doing tomorrow morning? Um dijo que era? Carlos. Uh sí, sí. Este sí, sí, sí. Gina is Miguel. I'm going to the dentist. What about the afternoon? I'm talking a math exam all afternoon. Oh, for you and in the evening. I'm going bowling. Oh, when's the new bowling bowling early opening? Tomorrow, that's why I'm going. Okay. Yes, that's why I'm going, right? Bowling and opening. So let's check it out if your classmates have come. Okay, so they are coming. So the no more questions with pronunciation. Do you have any question, people, about pronunciation okay. so far? Uh, yes. 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 En, en la cuatro donde dice Carlos, la de después de the new the new, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, oh, the new bowling, the new bowling alley. The new bowling alley. alley. The new bowling alley. More questions? No questions. Okay, no more questions, right? Okay, that's nice, very good, excellent. That's perfect, okay. Okay, so we're gonna uh, continue with I want to stop sharing this and I am going to, con we are going to continue with the man. Ah, pero tenía el platform too, right? Bueno, ahorita with the man. Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we have a homework, I remember, <laughs> that I assigned the homework on page 29. That was about this, right? 
Now, so a uh, future will be going to, right? So you have the future. I oh, know it's not this one. <laughs> so it's about this one. Have you ever written a camo? Uh, so, and what about this? Uh, I'm going to larger this. Give me a second. No sé si la ven o la ven borrosas. Ah, ok. Se ve algo borroso, ¿verdad? Sí. No, no, Ahora sí. Ahí okay. está. In the first one, what is the first one? Tell me. What do you have in the first one? This one? Sin any karaoke Sin. bar. Karaoke. Karaoke bar. Sing in a karaoke bar. The next one? Go to, go to an internet cafe. Coffee. Yes, go to an internet cafe, right? Now nice. try cafe. mountain. Try mountain biking. Try mountain, mountain. Mountain, repeat that for me. Mountain. 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 Uh -huh. mountain. mountain, no se pronuncia la E y la I. Mountain. Ah, mountain. La. Mountain. 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 Mountain biking. Go Bike. ice skating. Go ice skating. See a little concert. See a little concert. Do you have a question with this vocabulary? See a, a live concert. Uh -huh. Do you have questions? See a live concert, it's not live, it's live, it's true. Uh -huh. Do you have a question with this vocabulary? The past participle for sing, what is? It's sun, right? The past participle for sing is sun. The past participle for go? Go. go Cuando right? llega doble F, que se pronuncia coffee. Cuando está escrito con... ¿Cuándo, cómo, cómo? ¿Cómo fue? Cuando se dice, o sea, así como está, se dice café. Ah. Ya con la, así como se escribe, que es coffee con doble F. Ajá, ah, okay. Eh, no, o... eh, no, coffee, coffee with WF is the coffee, drink coffee. Okay. Para café es uh, cyber. A café es un cyber. Ahí en el café, usted puede ver café y puede usar el internet, así como Starbucks. Como the uh -huh. coffee cup. Como... Uh -huh. Now, for example, so the past participle for sing, sun. Sun in a karaoke bar. Have you ever, so the question is, have you ever, ¿has tú alguna vez, have you ever, el verbo en pasado participio y el complemento? ¿Está? So this is the question. Yes, I have, and no, I haven't is the answer. So have you ever seen in a karaoke bar? Vamos a ver, ok. Lucía, ask the question to Ruth. Sing, have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Sung in a karaoke bar, right? Lucía to Ruth. Have you ever sung? Sung? Sung, go to uh, eat in a cafe? No, no, la, la primera. Sung uh, in a karaoke bar. La primera es esta. Ah, song, uh, song, sing in... O oh, son es lo que tengo que decir. Son in the karaoke bar. Ah, yes, así. Son in the karaoke bar. Solo vamos a cambiar el verbo que está arriba por el verbo de abajo. Ah, ok. Ah, yes. Eh, Ruth. Uh, se responde como... Uh, yes, I have, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Ok. Eh, Miguel, ask the question number two to Manuel Alexander. Manuel Alexander, are you available to talk? Have you ever tried mountain biking? Have you ever tried mountain biking? Uh -huh, mountain biking. Eh, vamos a ver. Uh, okay, Roberto Carlos, can you answer the question? Hello, hello. Have you ever tried mountain biking? Okay, can you answer the question, Noemi Salazar? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you have you ever gone Why? mountain? Ah, la misma. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> have you ever tried a mountain biking? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Oh no, I haven't. You? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Right, mountain. Remember, the pronunciation is mountain, 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 mountain. mountain. Uh -huh. 
Okay, Rommel, can you ask the question to Sabul Alejandro, the number two? Have you mm -hmm. ever gone to a, a Nirenet Cafe? Hey, Rommel? How you, how you, how you going to an internet cafe? Sabul Alejandro or are you busy? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you answer please, Hector Enrique? Have you ever gone to a Nirenet Cafe? Hello? Hello, hello, people? What Excuse you... me, teacher, es que se me había apagado el teléfono. Okay, no problem. Yeah, so, have you ever gone to an eat in the cafe? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have, very good, okay. Now, the next question, uh, the next question is going to be, uh, Jessica Lizette Campos, can you talk? Can you ask the next question? Yes, okay, Jessica, can. can you read the next question? Have you ever gone ice skating? The next question to Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Have you ever gone ice skating? Hello, huh? Karen. Karen, Karen, are you available? If you're not available, remember. Write in your name, listen. No, I, ha no, yes. I haven't. No, I haven't. No, okay. Uh -huh, no, okay. no, I haven't. Thank you, Karen. Okay, now the next question. Saul Alejandro, are you available? Hello, yes, Saul? teacher. Okay, Saul Alejandro, can you ask the next question to Roberto Carlos? Are you available? Okay. Uh, have you ever... Have you ever seen a live a live concert? A live, a live, a live. A concert. Concert. Have you ever seen a live concert? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Very good. So, do you have any questions so far with this? Or no? No. No. No preguntas. No, no questions. No questions. Okay, that's nice. So. So yesterday, so we vamos a lo más, eh, más que, a lo más, eh, no difícil, sino que a lo más complicado. Okay, now for you remember, so you have a, eh, in the list of the verse, so you have a present, past, and past participle, right? So you have a three columns in the list of the verse. So you have a present, past, and past participle. For, for example, go. What is the past of the verb go? The past or the verb go? go. The past is go. went. Went. Go. And the uh, past went. participle is gone. Right? Okay. It's clear? Yes. Go is in present. Went is in past. And gone is in past participle. Look at this. Gone is in past participle. Past participles, right? Past participles. So when you are using, when you are talking in present perfect, the very in past participle. En, en los listados de los verbos le aparecen tres columnas, el presente, el pasado y el pasado participio. Este tiempo del presente perfecto utiliza la tercera columna, los pasados participios. En el caso de los regulares, el pasado y el pasado participio es lo mismo, con ed. Siempre van a terminar con ed. ¿eh? Ed, ed, the ending is ed, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, so you have a call, cold, call, cold, hike, height, jog, jogged, try, try. Todas terminan con ed en pasado y pasado participio. Con los regulares no hay problemas, pero con los irregulares sí hay problemas. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque los irregulares cambian tanto en pasado como en pasado participio. No, no ven la pantalla. ¿Y cuál es el pasado participio? <laughs> what is the past participle? The past participle is like, for example, when you say, okay, like when you say, for example, ir, yo voy, ¿verdad? I go to the university. Yo voy a la universidad. En pasado, yo fui. I went to the university. En pasado participio sería, I had gone. Yo he ido a la universidad. I had gone, yo he ido. Estos pasados participios, o sea, la tercera columna del listado, 
eh, siempre eh, en español, en español van a terminar en ado, en edo o en ido. Por ejemplo, tenemos eh, hacer, este entonces viene, este sería hecho, ¿verdad? Yo he hecho. Entonces, yo hago, por ejemplo, I do my homework, yo hago mi tarea. I did my homework, yo hice mi tarea. Pero en presente perfecto, usamos el pasado participio. Yo he hecho. I have done my homework. Eat, comer. Ate, comí. Iren, ¿qué significaría Iren entonces? Yo he, he comido. I have, I have eaten, yo he comido. I have had, yo he tenido. I have had. Miren, in present is have o has. En pasado es had. Y en pasado participio también es had. ¿Verdad? Así como los verbos regulares. Entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, usted, si quiere decir una oración con had, tiene que ser así. I have had. And, is, and this is this is. Right? This had, el primer had es auxiliar. El segundo had es el verbo principal. Had, right? I have had. Yo he tenido. Now, may... O sea, quiero decir algo. Con had, tengo que usar el... Uh -huh. Ahí. El verbo el pasado. El had, participio. pero en auxilia. Siempre. El had es un auxiliar. El had está haciendo en vez de do or does, o en vez de did. Ajá. Pero uh -huh. solo cuando voy a hacer la, la oración con en had, digamos. Mm, en tengo que uh -huh. poner el auxiliar had. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. mm, ¿Le quedó claro? Yeah. Es que ahorita este had, este, este had es un auxiliar, este had. Entonces, eh, el had es el auxiliar con el que también hacemos la pregunta. La pregunta la hacemos con el have, poniendo la have al principio, ¿verdad? Have you, have you, have you done? Have you gone, por ejemplo. Ah, tenemos esta pregunta. Have you, have you ever ridden a camel? ¿Cuál es el verbo aquí? Have or ridden? Ridden. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? The main ridden. verb. Ridden. Has ridden. tú alguna vez montado un camello? Entonces, en cambio, have es auxiliar o es verbo? Auxiliar. Auxiliary, yeah. right? Auxiliary have, subject, pronoun, ever that is eh, complement, written, that is past participle and the complement, right? Ok. Now, ahí vamos. Entonces, tenemos que en el presente perfecto tenemos que utilizar have o has como auxiliares. Y el verbo va a ir en pasado o en pasado participio. Pass, pass participle, right? In pass participle. In pass participle. Y recordando que los, eh, los verbos eh, se dividen en regulares, que es lo mismo, en pasado y pasado participle es lo mismo, y los irregulares, que los irregulares sí cambian totalmente, ¿verdad? Me recuerdo que les mandé un video. Vaya, entonces tenemos aquí, uh, estamos usando have. Para la forma contractada, I have, decimos I've. I have, I've. You have, you've. He have, his. ¿Verdad? O sea que este his puede ser el es o el tiene o el a. O también puede ser el tiene. ¿sí? O puede ser también de él. So, she's, she has. Okay? She's, she has. Eh, tenemos aquí it's, it has. Ten, eh, tenemos we have. With, they have, they've, uh, has not, hasn't, have not, haven't, ¿verdad? Uh, ¿Tiene preguntas con las contracciones? Sí, porque se parecen a las contracciones de Jewish, by, digamos en el, en el de his, mm -hmm. que se une también, his tendría... ¿En qué, ¿En qué tenemos que notar la diferencia? En el has. Ah, vea me, me este ejemplo. Yes, call twice this week. Vaya, ese his for you, what it could be. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué podría ser ese his? His called twice this week. ¿Qué podría ser el his? Supongamos, supongamos que fuera otra cosa. ¿Qué podría ser el his? His called 
twice this week. Podría ser is. Podría, tendría sentido si dice él es llamado dos veces esta semana. No. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, la diferencia la hace el contexto. La hace también si usted se tiene que fijar que si en la oración tiene el verbo en pasado participio, es presente, perfecto. Entonces, usted va a saber que ese his no es he is, sino que es he has. Ajá. También, por ejemplo, si es respuesta de, de una pregunta en presente perfecto, obviamente la respuesta es, va a ser en presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Y entonces, este his, eh, también si hay otro verbo, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a saber qué es he has. For the context. ¿Ok? ¿Va, ¿Vamos bien hasta ahorita? ¿O se lo vuelvo a explicar? No, es ok. Es ok. Ok, no. Okay, very good. So, uh, okay. so, so, have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I have been to several. No, I haven't been to one. The negative form is haven't, right? Remember, the negative form is haven't. And the uh, positive, remember that you have to use, uh, you have to use what? You have to use um, have or has, right? Has, has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week or he has called twice this week. So in this case that you're using has at the beginning is because uh, the auxiliary has is for he, for she, and for it. So with he, she, and it, you have to use has, right? The negative, no, I hasn't. Mire, cambia. No es have ¿verdad? Porque estamos usando el he, okay? We are using he, he hasn't. I haven't. Recuerde que usamos el have con I, you, we, they, y el has con he, she, it. He hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten. Okay. Tiene preguntas hasta ahorita? This is the negative form, right? Yeah. Now, can you help me to read the instruction, please? Glenda or eh, or quién? Or Roberto Carlos, can you help me to read? Okay, teacher. Okay, how many times? Yes. How many times? Have how many times have you done these things in the past week? Write your answers. Ah, uh, write your answers. The compare it. Compare it with a partner. Compare with a partner. Compare with a partner. Compare okay. with a partner. Okay, the example. Can you help me, Lucia, con el primer ejemplo? I cleaned. I, I cleaned the house oh. once this week. Once, una vez, right? Once this week. Yo he limpiado. So the next example. Can you help me with the next example, please? Uh, Hector Enrique. With the next one, I haven't. Hello, Hector Enrique. Se me durmió. I haven't cleaned the house this week. Estoy bromeando, no se me enoja. No, 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 no se preocupe. So uh, the next one, so you have, so what are you going to do? So the verb, so you are going to use it in past participle, right? The verb that you have in the examples, you are going to use them in past participle. This verb, clean, make, cook, do, wash, go. ¿De dónde vamos a saber? ¿De dónde vamos a sacar el pasado participio ahorita si no tenemos listado? De aquí, mire. De este listadito que, te, de este listadito que te tenemos aquí. No sé si lo ve. Mire, ok. Clean. Clean. Bueno, ese es regular. No, no cambia. Make. Aquí está, mire. Make. De past participle, may. Este va a usar. Eh, cook es regular, cooked, queda igual, es de do, aquí está, do, don't, wash es regular, washed, go, gone, ok, entonces lo que único que tiene que hacerle es a esto cambiarle el, a esto cambiarle el verbo que está anaranjado por el pasado participio que lo tiene aquí en, en, a la par y agregarle al principio, usted lo que le va a agregar al principio es I have o I haven't, ¿verdad? Yo he limpiado yo no he limpiado. Yo he hecho. Yo no he hecho. I have made. I haven't made. Y el complemento que va a ser este, ¿verdad? I, o I have cooked dinner. O I haven't cooked dinner. Right? Is clear the activity? 
Uh, Ruth, I don't know if you have any question. Is clear the activity that we are going to do right now? Karen, is clear. Uh, Ruth Abigail, Saúl Alejandro, está clara. La actividad, ¿cómo la vamos a hacer? Okay. Okay. Cuando me dicen, okay, no, no me convence. <laughs> no me convence. Is clear? No. Está no. claro. No. no. Vale, no. está bien. Vale, usted va a ver las actividades estas. Miren, number one, number two, number three, four, five, six. Sí mm -hmm. la ven, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. No está compartiendo pantalla, me parece. No, 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 no. Ok, so, number one, number two, number three, four, five, and six, you have the sentences, right? Entonces usted yeah. va a ver qué es lo que significa el complemento y le va a poner yo he o yo no he al principio. Después lo que va a poner es el verbo que está en anaranjado, pero lo va a poner en pasado participio. ¿Ah? Y después le va a poner esto, igual, esto que está aquí, the complement. Después el complemento lo va a poner. Laundry. Eh, entonces, so, va a decidir, va a ver primero el complemento. Entonces, usted viendo el complemento, usted decide, por ejemplo, eh, vamos a ver, la lavada. Entonces, decide, yo, is, yo he hecho o yo no he hecho. Si dice yo no he hecho, I haven't do laundry. Pero no vamos a decir do laundry. El do lo vamos a cambiar por el don't. Don't. Laundry. I haven't done laundry. Uh, or I have done the laundry, right? The laundry. The dishes. Oh, you see? Yes or no? I don't Ah? ¿Todavía no le quedó claro? No, teacher. Okay. Vale. Usted lo que va a hacer es eh, fijarse en el complemento. Usted se va a fijar en el complemento. Tiene que, obviamente, el complemento lo tiene que traducir si usted no sabe lo que significa. Ok, por ejemplo, grocery shopping. ¿Qué es grocery shopping? Ir de compras. Ir de compras, ir de compras ¿verdad? Ir a comprar la comida de la casa, el grocery shopping. Entonces, usted va a decir, yo he hecho o yo no he hecho. Entonces, va a poner uno de estos dos. Si lo ha hecho, es I have. Si no lo ha hecho, es I haven't. Vamos a ver, escribámosla con negativo. La última. <coughs> Entonces le quedaría I haven't, si no, digamos que no lo, he, no lo ha hecho. I haven't. Y, y queda bien así. Go grocery shopping. No. Grocery shopping. ¿Qué está malo? Sería, sería ah. con. Sería, ¿Sería? Con. con. Con, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué sería con? Porque, porque en presente perfecto usamos. Pasado participio. El pasado participio de los verbos, la tercera columna en los listados de los verbos, ¿verdad? Tenemos en, las, en los listados de los verbos el presente o la base form de los verbos, el pasado y el pasado participio. Entonces, el pasado participio son los verbos que estamos usando aquí. Entonces, eso es que tenemos aquí. ¿Hoy sí está claro? Se lo vuelvo a explicar. No, no, no. Es okay. Entonces, vamos a hacer como unas oraciones. ¿Ah? Hablando con esto que está acá y, y, y diciendo si las hacemos o si no las hacemos, nada ¿no? más. Uh -huh. Exacto. Yes. Exactamente. Ajá. Yes. Yes. No, no. Ok. Ok. You're going to have a two. Ok. Tiene que alrededor de unos tres min... three minutes. Right. Three minutes for doing that. Two minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> <risa> y eso los tres minutos porque el tiempo corre <risa> eh, me ha escuchado que el, que el tiempo es oro <risa> I'm kidding <risa> kidding ok En cada oración que, que haga le va a salir una pepita de oro. <ríe> Mentira. Ok. Lo único que tiene que hacer primero es I have, I o I haven't. Si lo ha hecho o si no lo ha hecho. Después el verbo de anaranjado en, en, en pasado participio, que aquí los tiene. Y después el, lo de celeste, lo, el complemento de celeste, lo va a agregar. Y ya se fue la hora casi, ¿verdad? Ya solo quedan como 10, 12 minutos. En todo eso que hace, voy a pasar la asistencia. Porque se también siempre está <ríe> Ok. Glenda, después me toca ver el video para, para estar viendo quiénes estuvieron y quiénes no. Glenda Alice Guzmán, present. 
Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Viselda Elizabeth Pineda. Present. Okay. Héctor Enrique. Héctor Enrique, ahí lo oí. Okay. Present teacher. Jessica Lizeth Campos, Campos, Campos. Present. Okay, Cidil del Carmen Alfaro Rodríguez. Yo lo siento, pero prefiero seguir acarreando la marca y otra vez con Acuña. Gol, okay, Judith del Carmen. Giovanni. No, Judith del Carmen no está. O pidió permiso, no me acuerdo. Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Present teacher. Ok, Lucía, ahí está. La, la de las capturas, la de los screenshots. Manuel Alexander Avilés. Correcto. <ríe> Manuel. Mamo Alexander Avilés, por ahí lo vi, ¿verdad? I saw him, I remember that I saw him. Ok, Manuel, fíjese que estaba aquí hace un momento. <ríe> no sé si me quedó dormido. Teacher, okay, alguien ¿No? escribió en el WhatsApp que se había ido la luz en su casa, no sé si era él. Ah, ok, ok, I'm gonna check it out. María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. María. María Elizabeth Maldonado, no today. María José Torres, no today, right? Eh, Mario Ernesto is working, right? You're working, right, Mario? I, 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 you have listened over there. Uh, Miguel Ángel Clemente. Present teacher. Okay. Noemí Salazar Meléndez. Present teacher. Okay, that's nice. Eh, <clears throat> Roberto Carlos Morales. Roberto Carlos Morales. Presente, teacher. Ok, Rob, Romel José Ma, Marín. Presente, eh, Ruth Abigail Caballero Martínez. I'm, I'm here. Saúl Alejandro Alvarado Vital. Present. En Stephanie Beatriz Carvalho. No today. Oye, oh, yes. ah, no. Me acuerdo que me mandó un mensaje. Ok, ok. No. Dice, ah, sí, es cierto, ahorita no se ve nada en la pantalla porque estaba pasando la asistencia, es cierto. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Es que como cuando el, el Excel tapa, o sea, lo, lo abro para ver los nombres, lo tapa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ahí está. Yes, thank you so much. Sí, tenía razón. Okay, so do you have more questions so far? Tiene más preguntas? Teacher, Wash, eh, eh, Wash, eh, lleva. ED. ED. Eh, 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 eh. Es regular. Es regular, yes. Sí, es regular. Pero sí, ya pueden mandar la captura de esto para mañana. Es, es homework for tomorrow. Yes. Okay, Eric. Thank you so much. Yes. Done. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Yo vi que algunos lo solicitaron allí. Okay. Estaré ahí yo en esas en esas que felicitaron. Ya terminó. Ya terminó de, de la plataforma. No, me faltan dos todavía. Dos. Okay. Ah, okay. No problem. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. No se preocupe. Ahí los, tiene tiempo todavía mañana. Ok, ya le envié. No sé si quedó bien, Tiche. Sí, quedó bien, quedó bien. Homework for next Monday, right? Monday, teacher, eso. Homework for next Monday. And complete the platform. Mm -hmm. Teacher, um, la pronunciación de... Um, del I have, pero ya digamos que con el apóstrofe, ¿cómo es? 
If I, 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 the contraction for is I. Yes. Okay. Ajá, puede decir I have. Uh, digamos que I have reading, reading motorcycle today. I have es correcto. Reading, yes, yo he montado una bicicleta hoy. Está bien, está perfecta. Okay. Okay, vamos a ver cómo le queda la primera. Clean the house. I or oh, I haven't. I haven't done clean, cleaning the, the house. house. The I house. Aquí no es necesario done, solo I haven't cleaned the house. House. Eso iba a preguntar que si es necesario once eh, escribir ah, el. Once. No es necesario. No es necesario. Lo puede agregar sí. Once. Once es una vez. I haven't cleaned the house. Hasta ahí la puede dejar. Yo ah. no he limpiado la casa. I haven't cleaned the house. Now the number two. Un voluntario para la number two. Two number two. No sé si Glenda podría ser la número dos. Hello, Glenda. Hello, teacher. La estoy haciendo todavía porque Va. ahorita estoy solo en el celular y me cuesta un poquito. Ah, ok, ok. Podría hacerla en, en, en el cuadro. <ríe> ok, Noemí, Salazar Meléndez, I don't need you can help us with the number two. Make your bed. Make your bed. Hello, Noemí. Okay. Hola, teacher. Hi. La number two. I have made your bed. My bed. My bed. My no, bed. I... Yo he hecho mi cama, porque me está diciendo yo he hecho tu cama. I have made my bed. Okay. Miguel Ángel, the number three, cooked. I cooked dinner. Okay. I cooked dinner. I cooked dinner or I had cooked dinner. Yo he cocinado la cena. Okay. Uh, Jessica Lizet Campos Campos, the number four, no sé. Si ya la hizo, todavía no. Yes. Okay. I've washed the dishes. I washed the dishes. Washed. I washed the dishes. Roberto Carlos, the number four. Don the laundry. Okay, Rommel, the number four nos ayuda. Roberto Carlos o Rommel. I have done the laundry. I have done the laundry. Thank you so much. Saúl Alejandro or Ruth Abigail Caballero, the number six. I gone grocery shopping. I, oh, I have gone uh -huh, grocery shopping. Yo he ido y de compras, okay? So, uh, if you don't have more questions, so see you on Monday, right? Ahí ya le puse la tarea. Eh, hay más noche le mando otra tarea. <ríe> okay, so see you uh, on Monday.